Howdy folks, Todd Rennan, the Flippin' Hustler here. Well, I was messing with my laptop for 15, 20 minutes. It, I was trying to record and it kept saying, I was out of space, delete pictures or videos. So I tried, guess what? Didn't happen, man. I don't know what's the problem, but I was like, you know, I'm just gonna use my phone. It takes longer to upload them, but it is what it is. So, ah, it's hot. Coffee. All right. Well, it's been a while since I did a video, and uh, I was thinking, you know, how can I make these even more entertaining? Can I channel Elvis? Uh, I don't know. I could try. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Every once in a while, Elvis kicks in. I've been listening to a lot of Elvis. Grew up with the dude, and, you know, kind of thing. So, but what did I do today? I got up early. No, I didn't. I got to sleep in. I got. I slept till seven o'clock. Holy crap! If you know me, I'm usually up at like three, four, five at the latest because the sun's coming up, you know. But uh, yeah, I slept in, got up, got ready, uh, put this hairdo on, and <laughs> just got my stuff ready to ship. So uh, I was gonna sh tell everybody what I sold. Well, here, let me grab my laptop and we'll do it that way. Okay. So while well, I'm pulling this up here, stupid thing. Um, you know what? Let me push pause that we don't have to watch for this. Hold on. All right, guys, got it pulled up. Here it says, uh, today I shipped off some Black Nike Zooms. Uh, I think I picked those up for two bucks. Uh, they sold for twenty-three forty-five plus shipping. Total was thirty dollars and seventy cents. Um, I also sent off a pair of Skechers for nineteen ninety, um, which plus shipping, so it was thirty fifty-five. Um, I sent off a vintage ET, and that was nine thirty-eight plus shipping, so it was thirteen thirteen. Uh, Girls Columbia snowsuit, I went for four twenty plus shipping. That was uh, an auction. Uh, Memorex Radio Shack VHS tapes, that was a buck thirty-three, three ninety-nine shipping. That was another auction. Um, Donald Trump shirt, three thirty-five, seven ten total with shipping. Um, that was an auction. Uh, vintage train color etching Jupiter 1868 Central Pacific Railroad. Uh, picked those up for a quarter each, and that went for 12.63, free shipping. Uh, so it was 2.66 to ship it. So I mean, like 10 bucks. Um, so this is all within the last like week, week and a half. Uh, men's Star Trek Spock T-shirt went for 7.07, upside down and backwards is what? LOL. 10.82 was shipping. I was on April 7th, April 5th. Uh, some blank cassettes. Five Max Cells and two Sonys. Uh, they're new. 1975 is what they went for. 2241 was shipping. And those went media mail. Um, a vintage 80, 80s Casio watch. That was 1999 plus shipping. 2349. Um, some motocross pants went for 2222 plus shipping. Was 3207. Uh, and that was. I don't know. Where's my other stuff? Anyway, so there's some stuff that sold in the last week and a half. I looked up. Okay, so went to the post office, uh, dropped off my those Nikes and uh, that Donald Trump shirt, and then I thought, you know what, I better go check out the thrift store because it's Wednesday, and what is Wednesday? I know for Rockstar Flipper, it's uh, Salvation Army Wednesday, so he always goes because it's half price. Or so that's hot. Uh, but up here. Wednesday, it's open. Woohoo! So I went. This video is getting longer, right? It's four minutes. I gotta go quick. Alright, so I picked up. I'm just gonna get right into it. I spent a total of 54 bucks. Um, so I came home and I transferred over like, I don't know, 100 bucks. No, it was 77. 77 is some change from my PayPal into my checking account. And then I was like happy because I covered this and left a little extra. Um, Nikes. Picked up these Nikes. These are our flights. Really good condition. Those were two bucks. Um, they do need to be cleaned up a little bit, but those are really, really good find. Um, here is an LG headphone. It's got a microphone thing on it. It was a buck fifty. Here are these vintage. Uh, well, I don't know if they're vintage or not because there's no date on them. That's the thing. I looked them up, but I haven't looked them up. But I looked for the thing. Anyways, they're banana split, banana split things. And they're a dime a piece. So I got six of those. Um, I picked up this tennis racket. For some reason, it just it said buy me. 
Jimmy Connors tennis racket. It's a Wilson. Looks like it's vintage. It's really nice shape. So uh, we'll have to take a look at that one. Um, this book. I woke up thinking about this book. I saw this like two weeks ago. And it's just been there. And every time I go there, and it's there. But I, I found it. And so I got it. Check it out. How's it going? There's a hole in this book. Y'all. Y'all. There's a hole in this book. Y'all. A hole. Uh, I don't know why. Don't know what. Um, but it sure is a clean cut, man. I don't know how they did it. But it was a buck. And it's the Pelican Brief, Treasures, Eye of the Storm, and the Island Harp. So that was a buck. Uh, I don't know. It's just cool. Um, a go faster. I picked up another bag of these, man. I had these for four bucks. Now, I was always him and hum, but I brought my glasses today so I could look at the, the dates on the bottom. This was a good score. Um, it's a bunch of old semis, matchbox and Hot Wheels semis from the 80s. I haven't looked them up, but my gut is telling me that's money. Um, I picked up these cowboy boots. I was wishing they were my size, but they're not. They're huge. They're 11 and a half waterproof. Um, what are they called? Laredos. Laredos. And man, them are nice. Look at them. Huge. <laughs> got to clean them up with Tish, but they got, you know, they're nice. So, anywho, here's a, a cup. And this cup I picked up to go into the set that I have on listed right now. When I bought the set, someone had taken a cup out and put a different cup in, and I didn't rec I didn't notice it. Um, and then I, I I said, you know, I got to get another one of these cups. So now I can put the set together, and she's all good. All right, what else here? Oh, I found these, and there's a gal there. Her name's Ruthie. She's a doll. She's 93, 92, 93. And when she just, she's so cool. But when I have a question about something that's old, I ask her, because who's going to know? Ruthie. She's been around 94, 93 years. Um, so I said, hey, Ruthie, what is this? You know, what is this? And she says, oh, yeah, they used to make those when I was a kid. Oh, I was like, a kid? Holy buckets. That one's cool, but this one's way cool. And they got the paper clothes on the bottom, on the back. But check that out. Oh, man, that's cool. Yeah, I have no idea, but I know it's old. Because Ruthie said it's old. She remembered them from when she was a kid. So, they're old. So, anywho, that's that. Uh, okay, so that's that, and that's that. So, and then I got around to the back store, and I found this. And I was like, hey, what's that? Those are, uh, looks like hockey skates to me. So, I busted them open, and sure enough, them there's hockey skates. I guarantee they're hockey skates. Bauer International, Canada, eh? How's it going? <laughs> Anywho, uh, I paid four bucks. Four bucks. <laughs> four bucks. Um, I don't know what they're going for. But I'll look them up, and they're a good size. So, they're a size 11D. So, you know, then we're going to pay for some cash. Okay, we're getting to eight minutes. Okay, got to get going here. So, I'm looking at the DVDs, because I always like to see what they got going on there. And then... I saw a whole bunch of these books sitting there and there. It says Real Deal Casino Shuffle Master, Real Deal Casino Championship, Quests. So there's all these Hoyle books. And then I started finding all the DVDs or the games to go with them. Look, here's Real Deal Slots, all these different uh, PC games. Okay. Slots, slots, uh, whatever. And then the Casino Quest. Everything that goes together. And I said, man, that's a sign. I got to get it. So I did. So that was that. Uh, let's make a deal DVD TV game. I did look in all here to make sure that everything was in there this time because I have picked up some stuff and it's the wrong stuff. This was super cool. I walked by and I was like, $1.75, really? Oh my gosh. It's a Tony Hawk miniature skate park, man. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, you can grind. It's got the little ramp. It's got a... Is that? I thought it was gonna be a quarter pipe or something, but anyway. And then it's got three little boards. Oh, that's cool. Yep, tech decks. So that was a score, buck seventy-five. Man, I couldn't believe it. I don't know what they're going for, but I know it's something. Okay, so then I got to the close, and it was five dollar bag sale. Now keep in mind, when I go in there, I'm thinking I'm not gonna buy nothing. This, I, th I think I might keep myself because it's kind of a neat color. It's like a gold golf shirt made by who? 
Under Armour. Um, so that was cool, but I'll probably keep that. But, oh, did I score? I scored so hard today. Uh, check this out. Sick puppies. Woohoo, hoodie. Zip up. Black. That is cool, man. But check this out. It was a hoodie kind of day. Here is a, on the front it just says Mickey. And I was like, ah, oh, that's homemade or ghetto or whatever. And I looked, I saw it, I said a tag. Right there, boom. Disney. And I flipped it around. And I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. So I grabbed it. Yes, sir, I did. And then, <laughs> uh, right next to it, I flipped it around. And guess what? I found another one. Oh, man. It's a zipper upper. Check it. Zipper upper. Um, and I'm getting a lot better at looking at the cuffs, making sure there's no holes, making sure it's not dirty, excessive wear, that kind of that stuff. Um, so that was that, and that was that. Um, this. Oh, man, I couldn't believe it. It's a Bob Seger zip-up hoodie. Is that crazy? That is a score, man. Made by Comfort Colors. But, oh, that's cool. That is a score. Here's another one. Look at this thing. It's not one of those, but it's one of these. Today was my day. This is made by Marvel. It's a size L. And it is some kind of a Spider-Man looking thing. I don't know, it's pretty scary, but I guarantee it's worth cash. And uh, remember, it's $5 bag, so I didn't put much in that bag, though, for five bucks. Um, I think they crammed it in this one. Just bring this over here. Okay, so this here is a, a ladies Under Armour hoodie, pink and white. Really nice shape. Here is a it's it's a Maurice's, you know, but the thing that was so cool about it is it's a ladies obviously, but it has the pearl buttons. See, Oops, I'm always looking for the pearl buttons. I was hoping I'd find me a pearl button shirt today, but I didn't. But I did. This is to sell. So that's that. Hey, kitty cat, what's up? Yeah, my bandit here. His name's the bandit. Double XL, eyes odd, long sleeve, boom. Good stuff. Uh, this is a funny shirt. I liked it. It's a little faded, but it's okay because it's funny. It's got Jason. He's all sad. <laughs> Check this shirt out. Oh, man. It's made by Ocean Current, some or another. But it just, like, jumped off the hanger at me. Said, buy me. So that's going to sell. I don't know what it's going to go for, but look at this. It was like a score kind of day, I'm telling you. Here's a jersey, a Budweiser, Dale, Dale Jr. I guarantee Budweiser shirt made by, made by NASCAR. Chase Authentics. It's a NASCAR. It's official. That's cool. Uh, let's see which character. Oh, man. Look at, oh, this is cool too. This... If I could shrink it, I'd wear it, but I believe it's too big. Let's see, it's a, uh, oh, dang, it's getting 13 minutes. I got to hurry up. 2XL says here, what does it say? Warning, the person wearing this shirt is on the edge and can insult you at any moment. Don't make eye contact or any sudden move. Stay away. That's cool, Double XL. Excuse me, hit a cat. I got to get through this. Oh, man, check this out. It is a number 77, Darth Vader. Sweat or uh, uh, jersey 2x. <laughs> oh, I love it, that's awesome. And that uh, last but not least, looks like man, that was quick. Get down, kitty cat. Last but not least, is this it's just a sweater, but I saw it. And you ever look at something and say, Man, that I, I just know that's worth something? It's made by a company called A I G L E. Agile, Agile, you know what? Yeah, I'm not the brightest star in the sky. Right there, you tell me. But man, it's heavy and it's nice, and I guarantee that's something. So that said, that's 14 minutes and 49 seconds. Um, I think that's it, folks. Feel free to leave a comment.
you know what, don't feel free to leave a comment, man. There's so many people that I'm sure watch because I see like 33 views, 100 views, whatever, and nobody leaves a comment. Let's stop with that. Let's have some interaction. Let's have some comments going on. Uh, for those that do comment right on, and I got a bunch of new subscribers since yesterday. I was like 34 subscribers, and now I'm like 40. Boom! So, uh, let's bump it up to 50, and then 60, because my goal is, it's a long-term goal, and it's not going to make me rich, but it's another little side thing, which is, at 1,000 subscribers, you become monetized. How cool is that? Gives people who want to just sit and talk and teach and whatever an opportunity to make their time worth something because, you know, this is time. It's 15 minutes of my time. So, like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, bing, bing, bing. Uh, Todd Rendon, the flippin' hustler.